Hi everybody and welcome back to Rebecca Reads. This week we're going to read a really cool book called How to Code a Sandcastle by Josh Funk, illustrated by Sarah Palacios. And there's a foreword, which is what we read before the book starts, by Reshma Sarjani, the founder of Girls Who Code. All right, and let's read the foreword together. It says, Hi, I'm Reshma, and I'm the founder of Girls Who Code. Do you know what coding is? As you'll discover in this book, it's basically how humans tell a computer or a robot what to do but it's also about using creativity and imagination to define, explore, and solve problems of all kinds. And Reshma is the founder of Girls Who Code, which is a program that is dedicated to helping girls of all ages learn how to code. She says, you don't have to wait until middle school or later to learn how to code. Just like you learn about animals and history and space before you even get to kindergarten, you can learn how to code when you're really, really young. All right. And she says, happy reading. So let's go ahead and read. Hello world, I'm Pearl. It's the last day of summer vacation, which means today is my very last chance to build a sand castle. And this is actually perfect timing because it's the end of summer, which means it's almost time to go back to school, just like for Pearl. I've tried every single day, but something always ruins it. First came the flying saucers, then the shark attack, and maybe worst of all was the moat that Ada Puglace added. Ooh, I wouldn't want to go swimming in that moat. But today I've got the perfect plan. I've brought my trusty, rust-proof robot, Pascal. Say hello to the world, Pascal. Hello, world. He'll do whatever I tell him, as long as I tell him in code. It's not a secret code. It's special instructions that computers understand. Now build a sandcastle, Pascal. <laughs> hmm, I guess he doesn't know how to do that but a coder takes one big problem and breaks it into several smaller ones. If I give Pascal enough instructions that he does know, we'll build this castle in no time. It'll be easy. Small problem number one, find a place to build. Pascal, find a flat spot away from all dogs and frisbees. And Pascal went into the water. No, Pascal, we need to be on land. Pascal went into the parking lot. Too far! I guess I need to be very specific with my instructions. Pascal, find a flat spot on sand that isn't too close to the water. Here we go, X marks the spot. This isn't as easy as I thought, but at least we have a place to build. Small problem number two, gather up sand. Now we'll need a huge pile of sand. It's very important to tell Pascal everything in the correct sequence. That means in the right order. One, fill the pail with sand. Two, dump the sand on our spot. Three, pat the sand down. Great job, Pascal. Now let's do it again. Fill the pail, dump the sand, pat it down. And again, fill, dump, pat. This is getting so boring. There must be a coding trick I can use. Aha, a loop. When you need to repeat something in code, you can use a loop. Pascal, loop through this sequence. One, Fill the pail with sand. Two, dump the sand on our spot. Three, pat the sand down. And there he goes, over and over again. Fill, dump, pat, fill, dump, pat. This still might take a while. I'm going to relax while you work. And there she's relaxing while her robot is doing all of the work because she put the code on a loop. Uh-oh, I think that's big enough. Time for a break, Pascal. Look at this huge tower he built. 
Small problem number three, shape and decorate the castle. Let's find some fancy decorations and bring them back here. I've got seashells. What do you have, Pascal? Uh-oh, <laughs> that's way too big. You need to find something smaller. Ah, oh, we need something that isn't moving. Uh-oh, there's a crab. Pascal, that's not ours. Pascal took that from that baby right there who's going, Wah! Maybe I need to give him better instructions. And if, then, else should do the trick. If the item you see is small and doesn't move and doesn't belong to anyone, then bring the item back to the castle. Else, find something different. Perfect! Let's shape the castle and decorate. All right, look, they're decorating. And even their dog is helping. Now our castle is finally finished. Wait here, I'll be right back with some toys. Are you ready to play? Oh no, what happened? Of course, it's high tide and our castle, it's all gone. And here the dog is lifting up their leg, getting ready to go to the bathroom on the sand. And Pearl says, go ahead, pee. You can't make a moat today. Wait, a moat? She has an idea. A moat would have protected the castle from the tide. If only I had thought of a moat earlier. It took half the day to figure out how to code a sandcastle. But hold on, I already wrote the code to build a sandcastle. I can easily use all that code again. One, find a place to build. Two, gather up sand. Three, shape and decorate the castle. But we're not done. Now we've got a new problem. Small problem number four, build a moat. I think a new sequence should solve this small problem, and I know how to write one of those. Let's try one, dig around the outside of the castle. Two, fill the pail with sand. Three, empty the pail away from the castle. And we need to repeat that until we've gone all around the castle. I know, another loop. One, Dig around the outside of the castle. Two, fill the pail with sand. Three, empty the pail away from the castle. One, dig around the outside of the castle and just continues and continues and continues. That's enough, Pascal. And look, got a whole moat there. Hooray, our sand castle is finished and safe from the ocean. Hey, Pascal, now that we know how to code one sand castle, we can code an entire kingdom! Look at all these sandcastles. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sandcastles. Wow. Return, parentheses, the end. What did you think of the book? Have you heard about coding before reading this book? I know that I've heard of coding, but I don't know a whole lot about it myself. So I'm excited to check out some more books from the library and keep learning about how to code. I really like that Pearl broke this down into really simple steps for us so that it was easier to learn. And we learned about words like coding and sequence and loops. All right. Thank you so much for reading. And if you're heading back to school, I hope that you have a wonderful first day of school. It's always super exciting to start a new first day. And let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song together and I'll see you next week. Thanks for stopping by to read a book. I'm so glad that you came to take a look. Reading can be fun, it helps us to explore. We use imagination and so much more. I had so much fun getting to learn with you. See you next time when we read something new. Bye everybody, see you next time.